Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Down Channel. We're here off of uh, Stewart Avenue, waiting to see if that little Altima is going to make a stop. Just turning from Hollywood onto Stewart, heading westbound now on Stewart Avenue towards downtown. You can kind of see downtown there in the uh, distance ahead of us. Had kind of a little cool snap here after what was about six months of summer, summertime temperatures. The temperature outside right now is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 22 degrees Celsius for our international viewers. No chance of rain in the forecast today, even though the humidity is up in the 20% range, which is pretty rare for the desert. This is Fog, F-O-G-G, -G, for our friends following along at home on your preferred map app. There's a uh, middle school over there on the left. I'm not quite sure what the name of it is. They're not very good at putting the names out here. At least not on every side so that everyone can see it. And the middle schools especially all kind of look the same here in Clark County, in which Las Vegas is the county seat for Clark County. Del Taco over here off to our left. That's a fast food Mexican restaurant. We'll wait here for our turn. Finally got the green light here at Nellis. Nellis is a major east uh, north-south artery here on the east side of town. Traveling all the way from Russell Road it's at its southern terminus all the way up to Craig Road at its northern terminus. In between there it is heavily traveled. A lot of uh, truck traffic on there as well. That's typically because US 95 slash US 93 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515, which we'll just call Interstate 11 for brevity's sake, it uh, curves just, one, just north of its uh, interchange here with Charleston Boulevard on this side of town, and then it curves west. So a lot of traffic gets off at Charleston because it wants to continue north 
up into the northeast and eastern reaches of Las Vegas. This is Marion Drive, which changes names on the other side of Charleston Boulevard, about half a mile away from here. This Toyota in front of us, this little pickup truck, is a classic vehicle. I can think of other names for it, but it sounds like it's backfiring as he switches through the gears and steers off to the bike lane. Not sure what year that is. It might be a carbureted, which might explain the uh, backfiring, possibly. It's going to bring us up here to our intersection with Lamb Boulevard, another major north-south artery here on the east end of town. Lamb extends all the way from Desert Inn, where it curves and goes west and heads all the way out past the 215 Beltway, where if you build it, they will come. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna put in something out there at some point. All sorts of uh, folks selling stuff out here on a Saturday. It's hard to tell if it's a regular garage sale, yard sale, rummage sale, or just someone selling groceries that they acquired however they acquired it. Had a lot of viewers comment and say that they are familiar with the methods that uh, a lot of these folks use. But uh, I don't have any proof of that, so. This is Sand Hill Road. It gets broken up quite a bit over here on the east side of town, so you can't trust it to go all the way through. Someone else selling clothing here on the corner that we're about to turn past. Huge yard sale. The box next to me in the median says. As well as another sale right there. You see the green box on the other side of the street. And there is the aforementioned yard sale. Looks like mostly clothing. I haven't seen a bounce house yet. We usually see those on Saturdays in this neighborhood. Trabuco Drive. Just passed. La Brea Court. La Brea means tar in Spanish, or at least that's what I was told by a viewer. This is Sunrise Avenue we're about to turn on to here. No HOA in this neighborhood, and you can probably tell that. This Nissan pickup truck is doing funky things on the other side of the road. Bring us over here to Sacramento Drive and make a right. Go southbound towards Charleston Boulevard. Carnitas, tortas, and tacos being advertised in the back of that pickup truck there. But I know that uh, tortas has taken on a new meaning of late. I'm not going to get into that now, but you could probably Google it and find it on Urban Dictionary or something. El Pollo Loco there across the street. Another fast food Mexican restaurant. And we'll wait our turn here point out this little house here on the corner on this busy intersection. Bars on the windows and the doors. It must get noisy with all this traffic out here. I'd be worried, especially with the chain link fence only out there, some DUI come flying through the front door. Right there on a busy corner like that. Huge dirt lot over there on the uh, other corner, kitty corner as they, as it's been called in the past. This Accord has a brake light out. Pet boys. 
is now closed there on the other side of the street. I've got to go ahead and make this right. Since they've redone this interchange here at Interstate 11, they have um, turned this into no turn on red. So you have to sit here. They've widened it. They've given three turn lanes to the uh, southbound traffic on Interstate 11, and only two lanes for the through lanes, and then two lanes here for the right turn lanes to turn northbound onto Interstate 11, slash US 93, slash US 95. La Puerta Negra over there on the other side, kitchen, bar, and gaming likely over 24 hours, that's what most of them are. No turn on red. We'll put up a little artwork over here. Can't complain about that because that's what they do on the west part of town. At least they're trying over here. Some artwork on the noise wall here on the right side desert themed. And this is the problem when you have a whole, whole bunch of traffic like this that has to sit and wait for right turn on red. It just gets jumbled up, makes everyone stop. Especially those on the travel lanes of the highway you just entered. They've redone this part of the highway that they're going to redo another section that they just did four years ago here just past Eastern Avenue. And you can see downtown Las Vegas coming into view there. The D with the legs kicking up in the air. Circa, which is the tallest building down there, 480 feet, I believe, is what the uh, 7 Eleven man said. Shout out to 7 Eleven man and all the work he does for our community. Fact checking a lot of the uh, information to make sure that, it's, uh, and I don't mean that in a pejorative or negative sense at all, it's a uh, positive because sometimes I don't remember. He's a very uh, valuable asset to the community. Street District, Arts District, and the next exit here. I have read countless studies that said it's not necessarily speed limits that contribute to crashes on interstates, it's speed variance, the difference in speeds between different vehicles. maximum of 65 and a minimum of 40, you're just going to invite all sorts of trouble. I think, in my humble opinion. And here we go. This is traffic looking to merge onto Interstate 15 past the Las Vegas Boulevard exit here. I was just going to remark on how smoothly things had been flowing here on the interstate. So very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. We would not be here without you, and that's a fact. Please do like, follow, share, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers, and it definitely helps out the algorithm. The almighty algorithm. Almighty Al, I call it. And here we go again. So the algorithm carries the weight of your voice.
voice to other viewers when you like, follow, share, and subscribe. Another vehicle with no tag. Steak and Lobster, $13.99, 9P to 11P at Tony Roma's inside of Fremont Casino. Thank you for joining all of us, and always remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.